want to get to the beige book now. The Federal Reserve's look at economic conditions and pockets of our country. Yahoo Finance is a nest for a here now uh, to break that report down for us. So what did the Fed see in some of these major cities, Ines? Well, Alexis, on the overall economic activity, the Federal Reserve is saying that the economic growth downshifted slightly in a moderate pace in early July through August. Uh, the stronger sectors of the economy included manufacturing, transportation. Uh, the deceleration in economic activity was largely attributed to a pullback in dining out, in travel, and tourism in most districts. Also, uh, the Federal Reserve is saying that the other sectors of the economy were where growth slowed uh, included acti where growth activity declined were those uh, where they saw constrained by supply disruptions so those supply disruptions that we've been talking about for months now and also labor shortages not softening demand but labor shortages taking a look at what they said about wages and employment all districts reporting that they're seeing a rising employment overall but demand for workers continues to strengthen but all districts noted extensive labor shortages that were constraining employment and in many cases impeding economic business activity that is contributing to these shortages were increased turnover early retirement and child care needs some of these uh, issues that we've talked about on this show ch child care needs being one of them for people not uh, really going back to work yet with persistent and extensive labor shortages the report says that a number of districts reported on acceleration in wages so definitely seeing those those wages tick higher as we see as we've seen over the, the last several months and then on prices inflation was reported to be steady at an elevated pace and most district noting substantial escalation in the cost of metals and metal based products uh, lumber costs have come down and some districts reporting that businesses are finding it easier to pass along the cost increases through higher prices and in fact several saying that businesses are anticipating a significant hike in their selling prices prices in the months ahead. So you can expect prices to be higher uh, for consumers. Oh, fantastic. We were just talking to Jared about what the Biden administration is trying to do to sort of pull in the reins on some of these meat producers and, and get rid of some of the sticker shock we're seeing there in, in the meat aisle. We'll keep an eye on it. And as for thanks so much. Time now for our ETF report brought to you by Invesco QQ.